सो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू राज मल्होत्राज आई सो गाइज वी आर बिट लेट टूडे बिकॉज वी आर नॉट एबल टू डाउनलोड द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर फाइल ओके सो देर वॉज सम इशू गोइंग ऑन एट द एंड ऑफ द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर इट सेल्फ सो इट वॉज नॉट आर फॉल्ट देर वॉज सम इशू विद द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर पी डी एफ फाइल दैट वी डाउनलोड फ्रॉम देअर वेबसाइट सो वी हैव डन सम मेक शिफ्ट अरेंजमेंट्स हेयर इन द सेंस दैट आई मे बी फ्लिपिंग अप पेजेस वाइल गोइंग हेड इन दीज सेशंस ओके सो जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट द पी डी एफ फॉर टूडे सेशन हैज ऑलरेडी बीन अपलोडेड ऑन आर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप यू कैन डाउनलोड द पी डी एफ आप जाके पी डी एफ डाउनलोड कर सकते हो वो ऑलरेडी जो है अपलोड हो चुका है ओके सो हेयर वी आर अबाउट टू स्टार्ट जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट हेयर चलिए सो लेट सी वट एग्जैक्टली इज देयर फॉर अस इन टूडेज न्यूज पेपर देखते हैं आज की अखबार हमारे लिए क्या खास है अगेन आई एम सेंग दैट वी आर रिग्रेटफुल बट द इशू वॉज नॉट फ्रॉम आर एंड द प्रॉब्लम वॉज विद द हिंदू ओके सो मोहित अजय विवेक संतोष इन्वेंशन वैभव विकी सुप्रीत पूजा माही गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल एंड आई एम एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी फॉर द डिले सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस सेशन लेट सी वट एग्जैक्टली इज देयर फॉर अस इन टूडेज न्यूज पेपर सो हेयर वी हैव दिस quotation by martin luther king now he says that our life begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter this is really very important okay so wherever if wherever you are like in your life if you are witnessing some uh, injustice being done agar kahin pe kuch injustice ho raha hai okay so in that case scenario it is important that we speak up we speak up that's the important point here so if if russia being a bigger country if russia is attacking ukraine which is a weaker and smaller country so it means that we have to take side of ukraine we have to talk about it you sh- cannot remain silent you cannot remain silent because when you are silent about injustice it means that your society is degrading aapki society jo hai wo degrade hoti ja rahi hai this is the important thing you have to understand apart from that we there are so much social issues that are there in our country so social inequalities are existing uh, discrimination is there ठीक है जी सोशल इनक्वालिटी है डिस्क्रिमिनेशन है ऑल दोज थिंग्स आर एग्जिस्टिंग ओके ऑल दो ऑल दो थिंग्स आर एग्जिस्टिंग एंड सम हाउ एंड सम हाउ वी शुड स्पीक अबाउट इट वी शुड स्पीक अबाउट इट ह्यूमन बींग इज अ सोशल बींग एंड यू कैन नॉट बी साइलेंट इफ समथिंग बैड इज हैपनिंग विद योर नेबर दैट्स द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बिकॉज at that moment it might not be a problem for you but you never know in future you may also have to pay the price aapko bhi wo keemat ada karni padegi aisa ho sakta hai so this is really very important that we speak up against the injustice that is going on in the society the discrimination that is going on illing inequality that is going on it is really very critical to speak about it okay it is really very critical to speak about it and apart from that you can note down these words these quotations and you can use it in your essay our life begin to end the day we become to silent about the things that matter now how are we going to use it for your bureaucracy suppose you want to be you are a you are an ias officer aap ias officer ho okay so you are coming across a incident where your senior is indulged in corruption aapka senior corrupt hai ठीक है ना इट कैन बी योर मिनिस्टर एज वेल सपोज यू आर वर्किंग एज अ सेक्रेटरी टू द मिनिस्टर एंड द मिनिस्टर हिमसेल्फ इज करप्ट और योर सीनियर इमीडिएट सीनियर इज करप्ट नाउ एट दैट पॉइंट यू कैन नॉट रिमेन साइलेंट इट विल बी क्रिटिकल फॉर यू टू यू नो प्ले द रोल ऑफ विसल ब्लोअर आपको वो विसल ब्लोअर का रोल प्ले करना पड़ेगा That's the important point here. I know that you may have to pay the price for that. आपकी ट्रांसफर होगी यू मे बी सस्पेंडेड you may be suspended but the point is this but the point is this you have to speak about that because at present you might not be speaking about it but in the larger run it can create a 
loss to the society, loss to the country, loss to the poor sections of the society who are dependent on bureaucracy. सरकार के ऊपर मैं डिपेंडेंट नहीं हूं नाइदर यू मे बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन द गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स बट देर इज अ पुअर फेलो ऑन द स्ट्रीट हु इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन दैट गवर्नमेंट स्कीम एंड इफ द ऑफिसर्स हु आर इंप्लीमेंटिंग दैट स्कीम आर इंडर्ज इन करप्शन देन इट इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू स्पीक अप अगेंस्ट इट और यही गड़बड़ होती है देखो होता क्या है आई एस ऑफिसर्स ब्यूरोक्रेसी में वेन दे आर इन सर्विस दे विल रिमेन साइलेंट ठीक है वो कुछ भी नहीं, नहीं बोलते हैं and as soon as they are out of service they start criticizing the system so it is important that when you are part of the system you try to reform it it is important that you speak up against the bad things that are there okay so wo sari cheeze hame yahan pe add karni hongi if this type of statement is asked in your upsc exam now we'll move to the next part so here we have this news uh, draupadi murmu she will be the nda speak okay so opposition is now fielding yashwant sinha as a presidential candidate so here we have this news now this is your prelims 2018 question that upsc did ask so we should have the clarity that what type of question upsc is asking so they are saying that with reference to the election of president consider the following statement first statement is this the value of vote of each mla varies from state to state yes this is correct okay this is correct because the value of vote also the calculation जो कैलकुलेशन है दैट विल ऑल्सो फिगर इन द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ दैट स्टेट उस स्टेट के पॉपुलेशन के बेस पे ही जो है वोटिंग परसेंटेज वेरी कर जाती है सो दैट्स वाई एज द पॉपुलेशन इज डिफरेंट इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्टेट सो द वैल्यू ऑफ वोट ऑफ ईच एम एल ए वेरीज फ्रॉम स्टेट टू स्टेट दिस स्टेटमेंट इज एब्सोलूटली करेक्ट नाउ देर इज अनदर स्टेटमेंट विच इज दैट द वैल्यू ऑफ वोट ऑफ एम पीज ऑफ द लोकसभा इज मोर देन द वैल्यू ऑफ वोट ऑफ एम पीज ऑफ द राज्यसभा now that statement okay value of vote of mps of lok sabha is more than the value of vote of mps of rajya sabha that statement is absolutely wrong because the value of vote the value of vote for both lok sabha and rajya sabha is same dono ke dono ki value jo hai wo same hoti hai this is the point here okay this is the point here so the correct answer to this particular question is a so this c it, it is written wrong a is the right answer theek hai na so this is how we need to know what type of question upsc is asking so here is the detail regarding the presidential election so presidential electoral college is made up of following members so elected members of rajya sabha now you need to understand elected members not the nominated okay not nominated members only the elected members they are taking part in it while election ele nominated members they don't take part in the election but when it comes to impeachment ab solo impeachment ho jaye okay so in impeachment case they, they will take part in voting impeachment ke case mein suppose the president has to be removed in that case they will take part in the voting so this is also the uh, tricky point that we should know that the nominated members they are not going to take part in the election but while impeachment they can take part now elected members of lok sabha only the elected one elected member of each state vidhan sabha legislative assembly elected member of union territory of delhi and puducherry as they have the uh, legislature there now the point is this member of legislative council okay mlcs they don't vote this is also the critical point you have to note it down ye sath ke sath note down kar lo the mlcs they don't vote in this particular election theek hai ji now value of vote cast by elected member of state legislature and both the house are determined by the provision of article 55 okay the value of vote of each mla of each state is different it is determined by average constituency size and the 1971 census data is taken okay wo data liya jata hai now the value of vote of each mp of lok sabha and rajya sabha is equal so this is the point that we have to put in here each mp of lok sabha and rajya sabha it is equal their total strength is definitely different so lok sabha mp's total strength is 384444 okay rajya sabha it is 164964 
so nisar loan is asking sir why not the j and k ut see the point is this j and k ut is under suspension right now their legislature it is under suspension okay so that's why they cannot vote in this election theek hai na to ye baat hame malum honi chahiye right now so when the new you can say the elections are to be conducted in j and k it was already news that by december there are chances that elections might be conducted so when the new house will be formed then at at that time the new legislative assembly uh, may take the you can say i no no doubt that chance has gone now wo chance to chala gaya but this is the present situation okay so they might have taken the part in this particular election process so this is what we have here now we'll move to the next part so uh uddhav government wobbles as sena rebel scamp in surat okay so this is what is going on right now uh like this was a major event and today we had one editorial explained component regarding the absurdity of the anti defection law okay so you need to understand what why what was the reason why this anti defection law was brought in so it was brought in 1985 okay the idea was that it is going to provide the stability in the government okay stability in the government and how it is going to bring the stability in the government because when this anti defection provision was added to your 10th schedule okay jab ye add kiya gaya tha at that time the provision was that uh, less than okay less than one third of the member if they are changing party they are changing party then their membership will be invalidated तो अगर वन थर्ड मेंबर से कम है तो उनकी मेंबरशिप जो है वो इनवैलिडेट हो जाएगी इनवैलिड हो जाएगी ओके दिस प्रोविजन वाज एडेड लेटर इट वाज चेंज टू टू थर्ड मेंबर्स सो इफ मोर देन टू थर्ड आर चेंजिंग देन दैट डिफेक्शन इज अलाउड बट इफ लेस देन टू थर्ड आर चेंजिंग देयर पार्टी देन इट विल बी अ केस ऑफ डिफेक्शन एंड दे विल लूज देयर मेंबरशिप उनकी मेंबरशिप जो है वो चली जाएगी ओके okay. उनकी मेंबरशिप जो है वो चली जाएगी दिस इज द प्रोविजन दैट इज देयर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एंटी डिफेक्शन नाउ व्हाट इज हैपनिंग दीज पर्टिकुलर पॉलिटिशियंस आर वेरी स्मार्ट नाउ दिस एंटी डिफेक्शन प्रोविजन हैज बीन देयर ओके आइडियली द आइडिया इज दैट इफ टू थर्ड मेंबर इट मींस दैट देयर शुड बी अ स्टेबल गवर्नमेंट भाई हर हिसाब से स्टेबल गवर्नमेंट होनी चाहिए देन व्हाट्स द प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज दीज पॉलिटिशियंस आर वेरी स्मार्ट एंड दिस इज द दिस स्मार्टनेस दे आर शोइंग इन केस ऑफ मल्टीपल इलेक्शंस ओके इन कर्नाटका एज वेल दिस स्मार्टनेस हैज बीन शोन एंड हेयर आल्सो दिस स्मार्टनेस इज बीइंग विजिबल व्हाई आई एम सेइंग दिस इफ यू लुक इनटू द महाराष्ट्र असेंबली टोटल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ महाराष्ट्र असेंबली इज 288 एंड द मेजॉरिटी ओके majority vote will be 145 suppose a party wants to become a form a government then minimum 145 votes are required ab anti defection karne ke liye kya chalna hai yahan pe either the two third members they will change the party okay either the two third members they will change the party now two third members changing the party might be difficult bhai two third member ek sath nahi aate na wo bahut difficult ho jata hai so these politicians they have come out with another method now majority number is 145 so at present the agadi you can say the shiv sena the ncp and the congress alliance their total strength is 152 their total strength is 152 and bjp's total strength is 1066 okay along with that there are some say 21 independents and others independents and 21 they don't belong to any particular party so how calculation is being made if if say 20 members okay if say 20 members of this particular alliance they resign or say 40 members of this particular alliance is resigning if 40 members of this particular alliance if they are resigning their total number will end up as 112 40 member resign kar jate hain to 112 strength reh jati hai okay 
resigning means that the total resigning means that the total strength of the house will come down to 248 because 40 members have resigned the total strength of the house will come to 248 चालीस गए 248 रह गए now the majority margin will be now the majority margin majority margin will be 225 225 okay now the game will be played as this alliance they will have 112 MLAs but BJP alone will have 106 and if BJP is just going to manage 20 more from the independent, if BJP is having the support of 20 independent candidates, BJP will form the government. BJP will form the government. Now, what's the game here? Suppose if, if anti-defection provision has to be brought in, matlab, agar usko valid karana hai, so two-third of the members, nearly you can say that 100 MLAs from this party, they would have switched so, Admiyo ko switch karwana chahiye tha. But instead of managing just 100 number, what they will do? They will ask the 40 members to resign. The strength of the house itself will go down and this is how BJP will form the government. And this is how they are making mockery of anti-defection. This is not the first time we are seeing this. In multiple elections, the same method has been used. Majak bana diya anti-defection ka. Okay, you have to just buy the 40 MLAs, ask them to resign immediately. So right now as well, this crisis is going on. So uh, the person, the particular person, Eknath Shinde, okay. So he, he is saying that he has the support of 20, 40 MLAs. Now, if 40 MLAs are with him, definitely the house of the strength, if all of them resign, house of the strength, uh, the strength of the house will go to 248. As soon as the strength of the house will go to 248, BJP can manage... Uh, the particular 20 more candidates later there will be elections which will be conducted on those 40 seats by jo resign karke 40 seats vacant hui thi. so there will be elections on them and bjp will, will ask those 40 members to come and join bjp and next time fight the election on bjp's ticket so jab re-election hoga to uske andar wo bolenge ki aap bjp ki seat pe lad lo in the re-election they will ask them to fight on bjp's seat this is the important point that is going on. This is how the mockery of anti-defection has been made by our politicians. Okay. So, this story is here today. Okay. So, we'll move to the next part. So, as I told you about this thing today, there is a bit hodgepodge as I was not able to access to the uh, means single copy of newspaper. So, I have to extract each page separately so her page go alag alag tarike se humne nikala hai se. so but somehow we are able to you know get the content that we want for your session so again this editorial that has been published it's regarding the wish list for reform in india's higher judiciary okay so we need to reform our judiciary there is no doubt about it there are more than say two crore cases that are pending okay so this is the pendency of you can say cases that are there along with that there are some major major issues like uh, delay in decision so the cases will prolong and there will be delay in decision making so uh, along with that delay in appointment this is also a problem okay appointment can the delay aa jata hai already uh, we have shortage of judges hamare yahan pe shortage of staff hai and in some of means majorly high courts can it is says that uh, more than nearly 50% vacancies are there okay so nearly 50% vacancies and this is the alarming situation right now so this scenario is going on regarding the judiciary see the point is this when you talk about judiciary the relation between citizen and judiciary is of trust Ek vishwas hai that judge sitting over on that post will be fair and do justice with us. Okay, wo saath justice karega and he will be acting in a fair manner. Okay. Now the point is this. The point is this. At present, the way judiciary is acting is somehow uncalled for. Wo hume nahi chahiye kyunki bahut sari problems hain yahan pe. Okay. So one of the idea that is uh, coming across the uh, corridors is this the government might be thinking on increasing the age of retiring age okay 
रिटायरिंग एज ऑफ जजेस तो ये कुछ प्लान कर रहा है यहाँ पे चल रहा है सो पीपल आर सेइंग दैट राइट नाउ रिटायरिंग एज ऑफ जज इज सिक्सटी फाइव ईयर सो ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट जज ओके इट मे बी इंक्रीज टू सिक्सटी सेवन दिस इज वॉट द गवर्नमेंट माइट थिंक now this editorial is saying that like even if you want to carry out reform the first reform that is required is this increase the age or of your high court judge because in case of high court judge 62 is the age retiring age and they are saying that at least it can be brought at par with supreme court bhai usko supreme court ke level pe le aao 65 kar do other point that this editorial is saying that if we are going to make it 67 agar aap 67 leke jate ho ise the problem in that case will be the problem in that case will be it will disturb the seniority okay it will disturb the seniority because judge is the next cgi he will have to wait for larger time jyada time tak wait karna padega so all those problems are existing okay so here this editorial is this thing that uh, it is regarding the retirement age that the government is thinking to change and increase it to 67 years as a plan chal raha hai okay so as i told you it will affect the successor every successor will be affected and they may have to wait for more time okay so wo jyada unko wait karna padega but the point is this instead of going for this particular reform they should have tried for reducing the disparity of retirement age that is existing between supreme court judges and the high court judges to so, sabse pehle jo 62 aur 65 hai isko deal kar dete there is no reason for this difference कोई रीजन नहीं है ओके सो दैट्स द पॉइंट हियर। नाउ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देर आर अदर रिफॉर्म्स दैट आर टू बी कैरिड आउट नाउ वन रिफॉर्म दैट दे सेड दैट वी कैन क्रिएट अ कार्डर ऑफ पब्लिक सर्विस फॉर रिटायर्ड जजेस एंड दो रिटायर्ड जजेस दे कैन बी मेड टू अपॉइंट ऑन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एंड स्टेच्यूटरी पोस्ट और द स्पेशल असाइनमेंट सो द पॉइंट इज दिस देर आर मैनी ट्रिब्यूनल विच आर डिसफंक्शनल बहुत सारा ट्रिब्यूनल है बहुत सारे आर्बिट्रेरी यू कैन से कॉम्पोनेंट्स है बोर्ड वगैरह है वेयर यू हैव यू नीड टू हैव द रिप्रेजेंटेशन फ्रॉम जुडिशरी कमीशन की भी बात करते हैं तो एन एच आर सी हो गया आपका ओके यू हैव एस सी एस टी कमीशन यू हैव कमीशन ऑन माइनॉरिटी ऑल दो कमीशन आर एग्जिस्टिंग बट द प्रॉब्लम इज दिस वी हैव सीन डिले इन अपॉइंट भाई हर जगह डिले इन अपॉइंटमेंट है एंड एज दिस डिले इन अपॉइंटमेंट इज existing so they are saying that to deal with this problem what we can do we can create a cadre of specific number of judges retired judges and out of those particular judges you can appoint them aap unme se appoint kar sakte ho this is what has been suggested and it's a good idea it's a good idea because you will already be having a pool of officials jahan pe aap seedha jaake appoint karna hai so this is how things are now now they are further saying that like at present what judges are preferring judges are preferring arbitration because when they are going for arbitration they will get good fees acha kaisa paisa unko mil jata hai theek hai na so what they can do is this they can appoint only those judges in that particular pool of cadre in that pool of cadre who are not interested in arbitration okay sirf unhi ko rakho aap and you are going to ask it बिफोर द रिटायरमेंट ऑफ द जज ओके कि सर आपका क्या प्लान है दिस इज वॉट वी कैन फैसिलिटेट ओके नाउ द अदर प्रॉब्लम इज दिस दैट वी हैव दिस आइडिया ऑफ अपॉइंटिंग द सीनियर मोस्ट जज एज सी चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया दिस वॉज डिवाइज इन द सेकेंड जज केस ओके एंड इट इज ऑल्सो मैंशन इन द मेमोरेंडम ऑफ प्रोसीजर नाउ द पॉइंट इज दिस द पॉइंट इज दिस दे आर सेंग दैट प्रेजिडेंट शुड हैव सम डिस्क्रिप्शन in the appointment of judge seniority solely should not be the criteria for appointment of a person as chief justice of india sirf seniority ke base pe aap ye decision mat lo you need to give some power to your executive specifically the president to make a decision if some other judge is more talented his record is exceptional definitely he should be given a chance to become a chief justice of india this is what they have suggested that instead of just focusing on seniority you can explore other areas as well that's the point here that's the 
point here so earlier also we know that government tried to came out with the njac national Judici judicial appointment commission but it was declared unconstitutional by supreme court okay to sarkar ne koshish to ki thi but it was declared unconstitutional by supreme court because supreme court says that we don't want any intervention from executive now one of the student has this doubt kavita is asking sir why there is delay in appointment okay so why there is delay in appointment so look at the procedure right now so you have a collegium system okay so collegium system collegium system will send the names and the appointments will be approved by the government and specifically the president okay president is going to appoint but government has its hand in that now the problem is this one problem is there at the end of supreme court itself because their your senior most judges they are occupied they don't have time bahut zyada cases hote hain wahan pe they don't have time okay to do this collegium work this is the administrative activity ye judicial activity thodi na hai collegium ki bhi aadmi select karne it is a administrative activity so they may not have time and this is a bit problematic for them so in this scenario the delay can be there other problem is this delay at the end of government because government don't take decision on time it has been observed multiple times सरकार टाइम पे डिसीजन लेती ही नहीं है ओके टाइम पे डिसीजन लेती ही नहीं है देर कैन बी मल्टीपल रीजन वन ऑफ द रीजन इज दिस विच एंटिटी इज द बिगेस्ट लिटिगेंट सबसे ज्यादा सबसे बड़ा बिगेस्ट लिटिगेंट कौन है किसके अगेंस्ट केसेस होते हैं इट इज द गवर्नमेंट सो इफ केसेस आर नॉट कमिंग टू द कोर्ट अब मामले अगर कोर्ट में डिस्कस ही नहीं हो रहे हैं बिकॉज जज इज नॉट अवेलेबल हु विल बी द बेनिफिशरी इट विल बी द गवर्नमेंट हुई द बेनिफिशरी सबसे ज्यादा केसेस सरकार के अगेंस्ट फाइल होते हैं सो दिस कुड ऑल्सो बी द रीजन दिस कुड ऑल्सो बी द रीजन वाई दे प्रेफर फॉर डिलेड अपॉइंटमेंट ठीक है ना सो ये सारे रीजन जो है ये एग्जिस्ट करते हैं ओके सो विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट सो नेक्स्ट एडिटोरियल इज सेइंग दैट इट्स टाइम इंडिया प्लान अ हब एयरपोर्ट फ्लाइट पाथ ओके सो इट्स अ सजेशन दैट इंडिया शुड डेवलप इट्स एयरपोर्ट एज अ ट्रांजिट हब ओके ट्रांजिट हब इन द सेंस वेर यू हैव कनेक्टिंग फ्लाइट वेर यू हैव कनेक्टिंग फ्लाइट्स ओके सो वी हैव दिस एग्जाम्पल सपोज इफ यू आर फ्लाइंग फ्रॉम कैनेडा टू इंडिया आप कैनेडा से इंडिया आ रहे हो ठीक है ना so uh, you will have a flight which will have transit in say heathrow airport ya to heathrow mein aapka transit ho jayega theek hai ya fir frankfurt mein aapka transit transit ho jayega either in heathrow airport or in frankfurt airport and then you will be moving in another flight kisi aur airline ki flight mein bhi aap ja sakte ho it's basically a connecting flight you may not be going directly coming from canada to india directly with the same flight एक ही एयरलाइन की फ्लाइट में आप नहीं जाओगे आप मल्टीपल एयरलाइंस में ट्रेवल करोगे सपोज फ्रॉम कैनेडा टू से हीथ्रो यू मे बी ट्रेवलिंग इन लुफ्तानजा आप लुफ्तानजा में ट्रेवल करोगे या ब्रिटिश एयरवेज में ट्रेवल करोगे एंड फ्रॉम देयर देयर विल बी से अनदर एयरलाइन सर्विसेज विच विल बी हेल्पिंग यू आउट विच विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग सर्विस टू यू सो दिस इज द आइडिया नाउ दे आर सींग दैट इंडिया शुड डेवलप इट्स एयरपोर्ट्स इन द ट्रांजिट हब्स बिकॉज इंडिया इज द थर्ड बिगेस्ट मार्केट एविएशन मार्केट बहुत बड़ी एविएशन मार्केट है हमारी ठीक है ना पीपल आर फ्लाइंग इन प्लेन्स एंड दे आर ट्रस्टिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्राउंड मीन्स टचवुड we have not witnessed much much accidents so this is the reason your consumer they are having confidence over the you can say aviation industry till now so that's why they are saying that it's time that we develop our airports into a hub airport theek hai ji aap hub airport mein aap leke aao the point is this it will facilitate better space utilization okay there will be more flights that will be coming agar aap transit banate ho connecting flights bahut zyada hogi more flights that will be coming the passengers they will get more choices passengers ko aur choices milengi yahan pe okay so as there will be connecting flights the the prices of tickets will also come down tickets ke prices kam milenge theek hai na so this is how these things are explored now for that you have to create infrastructure within your you can say airport here why do we say that because if you see on airport the arrival is separate and departure is separate okay arrival or departure jo hai wo hamare yahan pe separate separate hai there is no connectivity between them 
But if you want to develop your airport into a hub airport that is connecting flights, then you may have to have this mechanism where there is some link within arrivals and departure. That people who immediately come to your arrival mein and then they can rest for say 5 hours and then they can catch the other flight. 5 hours here and then they can catch another flight. Ko catch kare. This is the whole idea that is being explored in this connecting airport. Now, it is going to be really very beneficial for us because more transit flyers will come to India. It will be a business for us. You will get boom in your economy. This is what they are talking about. Okay. As the destinations and the frequencies for the connecting passengers are going to increase. More connecting passengers will hear. It will create economies of scale for airport and airlines. They will have more options. Unko achhi se jada savari milegi. Passenger mil jayega. And people will come to airport, they will utilize the services and they will pay for that. It's a business. services use and pay Okay. So this is how with this increased direct connectivity with other airports and other things, it will act as a multiplier effect. It is going to increase the footfall of passengers, which will create more, you can say, economic activity. Jobs will be created, employment opportunities, investment, business, trade, commerce, tourism, culture, all these things are to be facilitated. So this is the point that we should work on developing our airports to the class transit hub airports. Okay. So that more people, they can come to this particular airport and they can avail the service and it will be a boom for us. And I am telling you this thing, the geography of India is also going to help us in this way. Because if you look into the geographical location of India, it appears that India is at the center. Somehow, India is at the center. So it means that we are going to get a lot of transit connecting flights. We will get connecting transit flights here. So it's very good for us. It's very good for us. हमारे लिए बहुत अच्छा है दैट्स द पॉइंट हियर सो विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट आगे चलते हैं सो हियर वी हैव वी हैव टू मूव टू द अनदर पेज ओके दूसरे पेज पे जाना पड़ेगा सो आई हैव टू जस्ट फाइंड द पेज ओके सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट पेज सो हियर अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग द अ न्यू ग्लोबल स्टैंडर्ड फॉर आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एथिक्स नाउ दिस इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट सी वी आर वर्किंग ऑन टेक्नोलॉजी बट दैट टेक्नोलॉजी शुड बी वैल्यू लेडन उस टेक्नोलॉजी के अंदर वैल्यू का कंपोनेंट होना चाहिए इट मींस दैट देयर शुड बी अ वैल्यू कंपोनेंट ओके इट इज वेरी क्रिटिकल बिकॉज़ दैट वैल्यू कंपोनेंट इज गोइंग टू डिसाइड हाउ आर वी यूजिंग दैट टेक्नोलॉजी ओके हाउ आर वी यूजिंग द टेक्नोलॉजी बिकॉज़ द टेक्नोलॉजी कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर डिस्ट्रक्शन ठीक है जी terrorist organizations वो भी तो technology use करते हैं but they use it for destruction so we want that technology should be used only for the welfare of the people okay benefit of the humanity so this is the angle that we have to explore and that will be only possible if we have some sort of uh, value code or you can say code of ethics for your artificial intelligence because at present artificial intelligence is booming as an industry now this is what you have to mention here and this is very critical thing because this will be your direct question in your gs paper 4 okay so multiple times this topic was in news what about the intelligence related to use of machines and all so coffee debate chalti hai pe because you need to understand one thing here how how unethical use of this technology can be possible okay so please suppose karo aap artificial intelligence say you are creating automated weapons okay आपने ऑटोमेटेड वेपन्स क्रिएट किए ठीक है ना नाउ दोज वेपन्स आर डिप्लॉयड सो इफ देर इज अ मिस्टेक फायर अगर कहीं से पाकिस्तान के तरफ से थोड़ो सोचिए मिस्टेक फायर हो गया और सोचिए लाइक आई होप यू रिमेंबर द इंसिडेंट वेयर इंडियाज ब्रह्मोस मिसाइल वो गलती से पाकिस्तान में लॉन्च हो गई थी ठीक है ना सो ब्रह्मोस मिसाइल वो गलती से पाकिस्तान में लॉन्च हो गई थी ओके सो सपोज इफ दैट टाइप ऑफ इवेंट अकर एंड देर इज एन ऑटोमेटेड वेपन सिस्टम so it will automatically trigger a war. वो automatically एक war trigger करवा देगा, okay? वो automatically एक war trigger करवा देगा and that was that will be undesirable. This is the biggest problem here with this particular artificial intelligence technology. Other thing is that there are lot of things that we are doing right now. So say social media. Now with social media we are creating data. हम जो है social media से data create कर रहे हैं, okay? And uh, like that data might be used by the commercial giants. Commercial units use data ko use kar rahe for their own purpose. They might be trying to manipulate us. They might be trying to manipulate our choices. 
सो इन दिस वे एज वेल इट इज गोइंग टू बी अनएथिकल वहां पर भी वो अनएथिकल हो जाता है ओके सो दिस एडिटोरियल इज पॉइंटिंग टूवर्ड्स अनदर प्रॉब्लम दैट इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस लाइक इट इज इंक्रीजिंग द बायसिस ओके सो देर आर सम फाइंडिंग्स दैट आर ऑब्जर्व नाउ इट हैज बीन फाउंड दैट सम ऑफ द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बेस्ड सिस्टम दे डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड अगेंस्ट द ब्लैक दे डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड अगेंस्ट द वुमेन ओके दैट हैज बीन सीन बिकॉज दैट सिस्टम विल वर्क एज वी आर डिजाइनिंग इट जैसा हम उस सिस्टम को डिजाइन करेंगे तो वैसा ही वो बन जाएगा सो इफ अ पर्टिकुलर डिजाइनर ही हैज सम प्रिजुडिस उस डिजाइनर के कुछ बायसेज हैं कुछ प्रिजुडिस हैं सो दो प्रिजुडिस एंड वॉयसेज वॉयसेज विल बी विजिबल इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम द बायस जो पर्सनल बायस है वो उस सिस्टम के अंदर नजर आएंगे दैट्स बिट प्रॉब्लमेटिक सो दिस एडिटोरियल इज पॉइंटिंग टूवर्ड्स दीज थिंग्स सो सो यूनेस्कोज ग्लोबल एग्रीमेंट ऑन एथिक्स ऑफ artificial intelligence this agreement has been signed and they came out with some guidelines for government and companies that you have to follow these guidelines if you want to use artificial intelligence for the welfare of the humanity okay so we cannot go go beyond artificial intelligence because it is present in our life everywhere there is ai softwares which are working so this session that i am creating here this also has some component of artificial intelligence वो भी यहाँ पे लग रहा है ठीक है ना ऑटोमेटेड सिस्टम इज देयर ओके सो अलोंग विद दैट वी हैव सोशल मीडिया सोशल मीडिया इज एग्जिस्टिंग हेयर सो सोशल मीडिया देर आर मेनी यू कैन से ऑब्जर्वर यू कैन से सॉफ्टवेयर दैट आर इन प्लेस एंड दोज ऑब्जर्वर एल्गोरिजम्स आर ऑब्जर्विंग वट टाइप ऑफ कंटेंट इज बिंग क्रिएटेड अब ये जैसे यूट्यूब के ऊपर ये वीडियो जा रहा है तो दे हैव दिस ऑटोमेटेड मैकेनिज्म सो इफ आई विल स्पीक समथिंग विच इज unconstitutional or which is not according to the policy of YouTube, they are going to remove my video. अगर मैं कुछ भी गलत बोलूंगा यहाँ पे तो they will remove my video. Video and it is there because they have this artificial intelligence system that is in place. Okay, so this type of system is existing right now. Now the point is this: the same AI was used to uh, identify the people who are impacted by covid or you can say to understand the trend and spread of covid covid ke spread or trend ko samajhne ke liye bhi humne ai ka use kiya tha and for that that was the positive use of it okay so wo positive use tha but we have seen some of the problems that are there so here let's look into the issues that are there with your ai now they are saying that the data that is used to feed into the ai system they don't represent our diversity and it is producing a biased or discriminatory system so suppose you need to understand if a if an american designer okay american software developer so he is developing some software and that software will be used in india now the problem is this that american person might not be having a idea about the cultural dynamics that is there in india the diversity the languages that we are spoken speaking so at the end of the day it can be possible that that software will take just one language ki wo sirf english samjhega and it will not be able to understand the other languages that are there in india it is quite possible it is quite possible at present as well the whole you can say the software the tools that are available so they they are not friendly with the indian languages ye reality hai aaj ke date ki okay now in the social media they have up, upgraded them ab wo indian languages ko recognize kar sakte hain but in real in the earlier time it wasn't the case okay now the point is this they are saying that for instance india and china together constitute around 1/3 of the world's population but the google brain estimated that they form just 3% of the images used in the image net now it means that you are not adding indians and chinese in that image net you are just relying on the european and the american images that are there so european and the american images they will be have be having the fair complexion unka fair complexion ho jayega and this is how the system will become discriminatory against the darker skin people and this has been observed so the problem has been observed in facial recognition based technologies because here they are going to discriminate against darker skinned people and that has been observed so the error rate 
वॉज वन परसेंट इन लाइट स्किन मैन बट नाइनटीन परसेंट इन द डार्क स्किन मैन एंड थर्टी फाइव परसेंट फॉर द डार्क स्किन वुमेन दिस इज द एर मतलब आप गलती से किसी को भी पकड़ सकते हो इफ सपोज पुलिस इज यूजिंग दिस सिस्टम सो इट कैन क्रिएट अ ट्रेवल नाउ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस बायसिस आर ऑल्सो देर इन फेशियल रिकोगशन टेक्नोलॉजी ओके सो बायसिस आर एग्जिस्टिंग अगेंस्ट वुमेन इज एग्जिस्टिंग अगेंस्ट पीपल विद डार्क कॉम्प्लेक्शन दो सॉर्ट ऑफ इशूज आर देयर दैट्स वाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी नीड टू डिवाइज अ स्ट्रेटेजी वी नीड टू डिवाइज सम गाइडलाइन सो दैट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस कैन गेट रिड ऑफ ऑल दीज प्रॉब्लम दैट आर देयर सो दिस इज द पॉइंट नाउ नीति आयोग केम आउट विद द गाइडलाइंस नीति आयोग सेट दैट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस स्ट्रेटेजी इट हैज द कैपेबिलिटी टू सॉल्व मैनी ऑफ आर कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इंडियन सोसाइटी सच एज इन एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर हेल्थ सेक्टर एजुकेशन सेक्टर वो सब है यहाँ पे ठीक है ना एंड ऑलरेडी नीति आयोग इज प्रोड्यूसिंग ए आई फॉर ऑल कैंपेन ओके इस चीज को बढ़ा रहे हैं दे वॉन्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इन ऑल द एरियाज ऑफ गवर्नेंस इन इंडिया एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ गवर्नेंस इज देयर एंड यू नीड टू यूज द एडवांस टूल्स आपको आज के डेट का गवर्नेंस देना है तो एडवांस टूल्स तो आप यूज करोगे but the point is this we need to have some idea that how you will be able to design a system which is which is going in the in the constitutional direction ki bhi wo equality ko promote karta ho because here we have seen the system that is there in this artificial intelligence it is creating discrimination so that's why unesco has recommended the ethics of artificial intelligence now there are some recommendations that are there and they are very effective बहुत इफेक्टिव है ये ओके सो वन थिंग दैट दे से दैट द डिजाइनर्स सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइनर्स हु आर देयर सो दे शुड हैव द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सेक्शंस ऑफ द सोसाइटी अलग अलग डिफरेंट सेक्शंस ऑफ द सोसाइटी का रिप्रेजेंटेशन वहां पे होना चाहिए ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि सिर्फ एक पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप के लोग जो है वो सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइन कर रहे हैं बिकॉज हैविंग डाइवर्स आइडियाज डाइवर्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इज इंपॉर्टेंट डाइवर्स सेंसिटिविटीज आर ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट एक दूसरे को लेकर अलग अलग सेंसिटिविटीज होती है वी नीड टू हैव दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो अदर थिंग दे आर सेंग दैट वी नीड टू रेगुलेट द एक्शंस ऑफ दीज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बेस्ड सिस्टम यू हैव टू रेगुलेट डिजाइन एंड लेटर द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट द वे इट इज एक्टिंग बिल्कुल उनका जो है एक तरीके से वहां पे रेगुलेट करना वो जरूरी है यहाँ पे ओके सो दो सिस्टम कैन बी एक्सप्लोर नाउ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू हैव टू मेक श्योर द प्रीवेसी एंड एक्सेस टू इंफॉर्मेशन इज प्रोटेक्टेड इसको प्रोटेक्ट करना जरूरी है एंड इंडिया केस द प्रॉब्लम इज दिस वी डोंट हैव डेटा प्रोटेक्शन बिल हमारा तो डेटा प्रोटेक्शन लॉ भी एग्जिस्ट नहीं करता है तो डेटा प्रोटेक्शन बिल हैज नॉट बीन पास सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज दैट यू शुड पास दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्ट हैव द डेटा प्रोटेक्शन लॉ इन दियर कंट्री देन ओनली यू कैन टॉक अबाउट यू नो प्रोटेक्टिंग प्रीवेसी एंड अदर थिंग्स ओके देन द पॉइंट दैट दे आर सेंग इज दिस सो देर शुड बी सेपरेट क्राइटेरिया टू डील विद सेंसिटिव इंफॉर्मेशन सेंसिटिव डेटा एंड यू हैव टू मेक द सिस्टम अकाउंटेबल सो सपोज इफ अ पर्टिकुलर गवर्नमेंट एजेंसी इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग एजेंसी इज कैरिंग अड विद सम हैकिंग वो हैकिंग कर रहे हैं या फिर दे आर लाइक कीपिंग अ वॉच ऑन सम वन सर्वेलेंस चल रहा है सो यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट दैट सर्वेलेंस एक्टिविटी शुड बी बैक बाय लॉ वो बैक्ड बाय लॉ होनी चाहिए ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए आर्बिट्रेरिली आप किसी के केस में सर्वेलेंस कर रहे हो दैट्स द पॉइंट है एंड यू हैव टू पे एडिक्वेट अटेंशन टू वर्ड्स साइकोलॉजिकल एंड द कॉग्नेटिव इंपैक्ट ऑफ दिस सिस्टम एंड यू हैव टू ट्रेन योर पीपल यू हैव टू एजुकेट दैम दैट ये आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस का आपकी साइकी पे आपके मेंटल उस पर इम्पैक्ट पड़ेगा सो यू हैव टू यूज दिस सिस्टम रिस्पॉन्सिबली this is what we have to understand you have to teach them the socio economical and artificial intelligence ethics skill so that they can develop critical thinking bhai wo har cheez ko soche samjhe computer ke upar completely rely na ho jaye this is the very critical part here agar they are able to understand the whole system there can't be anything better than that you will have a resilient society which will be able to take up any problem in the future another point is this this new agreement is broad and ambitious okay but without a common rule book it is not going to have that impact so it is really very important that we need to have this law koi aapka domestic law aap banao okay domestic law should be based on these recommendations 
सो इन के बेस पे आपको डोमेस्टिक लॉ अपना बनाना पड़ेगा दैट्स द पॉइंट हेयर ओके दिस इज वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो ये सारी चीजें हैं जो हमें यहाँ पे ध्यान रखनी है ठीक है ना सो दिस इज वॉट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हेयर एंड दिस इज वॉट दिस आइडिया इज ट्राइंग टू से so we'll move to the next news item so as i told you we don't have the page access to multiple pages okay so this was also the explainer regarding the judicial validity of talaq e hasan now we know that there is triple talaq okay and this is also a form of divorce that is talaq e hasan talaq e hasan in which say first time talaq is being said ek bar talaq bola and then you have to wait for one month time okay there one month time is there so that the couple can explore reconciliation kahin na kahin reconciliation karte hain they are going to live together and they'll try to explore if they can you can say deal with their differences and they can move ahead okay apni life mein aage badh jayenge and they can live together see this is how talaq e hasan is being there now after one month again the husband has to recite talaq if they are not happy with the Uh, reconciliation activity and they are not you can say finding it to be very effective so again the husband has to say talaq and then the there will be a third time so this is how this particular talaq e hasan mode of divorce is also there now triple talaq is a mode of instant divorce by talaq 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 three times the husband is saying talaq reciting talaq and then it's a finalized divorce that it won't be reconciled ye dobara kabhi reconcile nahi hoga अगर ट्रिपल तलाक हो जाता है तो बट इन तलाक हसन द स्कोप फॉर रिकनसिलेशन इज देयर नाउ अ पेटिशन हैज बीन फाइल्ड बाय बेनजीर हीना सो शी सेड दैट लाइक दिस पर्टिकुलर आइडिया ऑफ तलाक के हसन इट इज अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एज इट्स वायलेट्स आर्टिकल 14 15 21 एंड 25 ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन so as i told you triple talaq is a process where you are going to have divorce in one go the other option that is available is the talaq e hasan which is pronounced with a gap of at least one month or one menstrual cycle okay talaq e hasan enjoys legal validity in almost all muslim countries so there are many muslim countries which have banned ट्रिपल तलाक जिन्होंने ट्रिपल तलाक बैन किया है ओके इंक्लूडिंग इजिप्ट सीरिया जॉर्डन कुवैत इराक मलेशिया बट तलाक हसन इज अ प्रैक्टिस दैट इज फॉलोड इन दोज पर्टिकुलर कंट्रीज नाउ द पॉइंट इज दिस मिस हीना शी सेड दैट दिस सेक्शन ऑफ मुस्लिम पर्सनल लॉ शरीयत एप्लीकेशन एक्ट 1937 व्हिच परमिट्स मुस्लिम्स टू प्रैक्टिस यूनिलेटरल डाइवोर्स बी डिक्लेयर्ड वॉइड so she is saying that why only husband has the right to initiate the talaq e hasan agar triple talaq hota hai to ek bar mein khatam ho jayega but here in this talaq e hasan idea as well the husband has the final say and that's why it's a unilateral activity okay so only a single revocable divorce takes place through first pronouncement of talaq e hasan now after the first pronouncement e pehli bar bola hai and after that husband and wife they are supposed to live together and uh, they are going to explore the option of reapproachment we kaise karke saath mein aa jaye so if the couple is not able to fend their menses okay in this particular period uh, husband does not annul the divorce through the word or by establishing is intimacy the talaq stays valid so in the meantime if husband is still not say if husband is not uh, going ahead with the divorce आगे हस्बैंड अनाउंस नहीं करता है तलाक तलाक तो द तलाक जो है वो इनवैलिड uh, हो जाएगा एंड एंड नहीं तलाक से इज वैलिड इफ द दे आर नॉट फाइंडिंग इट री अप्रोचिंग ओके एट द एंड ऑफ दिस मंथ हस्बैंड हैज टू प्रोनाउंस डाइवोर्स फॉर द सेकंड टाइम देन अगेन दिस प्रोनाउंसमेंट विल बी मेड अगेन दिस प्रोनाउंसमेंट विल बी मेड एंड देन देर विल बी अ थर्ड टाइम so after the second pronouncement to the divorce is revocable abhi bhi divorce hataya ja sakta hai theek hai na the person the couple may resume their conjugal relationship any time as they desire even after the second time the third pronouncement is going to be at least one at least one menstrual cycle that is after one month so in this way this idea of talaq e hasan is existing and after the completion of talaq e hasan now the talaq is going to be irrevocable it will be a final divorce as per the system 
In case of pregnancy, no divorce take place. Even if the pronouncement is made, it will be effective only after the pregnancy is over. When pregnancy is over, the talaq activity will start. This is the idea that is existing in talaq e hasan. Okay? So this is what you should know. Now we will move to the next part. Aage chaliye. So youth in army not um, just for money. This youth should not join army just for money. It's about national security. And this is what like officers were also saying. They are saying that they, we demanded a younger army. You want your army to become young. Okay, right now average age of Indian armed forces is 32. We want to reduce it to 26. That's the requirement because this is the global trend. Ye hai global trend. Average age of global armies are less. So we don't want our soldiers to die because of the physical injury. We want them to be healthy. And this is what is required here. That's why we are admitting the younger people. So a bilkul valid point hai. And they are saying that we'll go ahead with this Agnivir idea. Okay. So this is what we had. Other than that, there is nothing much. So... On this page, this is your final page that we will be discussing regarding the international page. So, Russia warns of consequences over the Kaliningrad rail blockade. Okay, so this point is going on. This is another flash point that is there. The war is still continuing and it may not end very soon. Another thing is that US Navy, Iran in tense encounter. Ye sab chal raha hai pe. Sea of straight of formers ke paas. Okay, multiple times these incidents have happened. Already US and Iran, they are under talks. Okay. So, to revive the JCPOA, that is Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. So, Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action ko revive karna chate hain wo. So, this is what is there, but these talks, I, we don't know when these talks are going to end. Okay, that's the point here. Other than that, there is nothing much here. So, that's it for the day then. Thank you very much. Have a great day ahead.